the power of nature is such that it's what all art strives to be. The more we can get in tune with the harmony of the planet, the more our art can benefit from that relationship. Chances are, if you've ever listened to anything on the radio in the past 20 years, you've inadvertently experienced some of Rick Rubin's musical influence. The super producer has worked with the likes of Run DMC, The Beastie Boys, Jay-Z, Kanye West, and Frank Ocean. His massive and versatile portfolio is the result of Rubin's unorthodox approach to production and management. At the heart of Rubin's technique, a deep and profound spirituality that helps him guide artists through their inner being so that they may better realize their creative vision. Like a shaman guiding souls along a spiritual journey, Rick Rubin has helped some of history's greatest musicians reach musical nirvana. Rick ain't normal, I don't give a fuck. I know all producers have their idiosyncrasies, meaning, you know, quirks and some weird shit. But he's just strange by strange standards. While we was downstairs doing hardcore rap records and shit, Upstairs, he had a bunch of people having koala leaves and doing some type of Tibetan freedom concert planning. Jay-Z's description of Rick during the recording of 99 Problems is the perfect analogy for understanding Ruben's essence. On one level, there is a deep harmony with nature and spirituality, while on another, there is also a love of rebellion, music, and hip-hop. For Rick, music and spirituality go hand in hand. His cosmic understanding and awareness allow him to approach production as a listener, attempting to achieve the same balance found throughout the universe within music. The creative goal in making music is the same as, you know, a rainstorm or just the way the waves hit the beach. You know, there's a, a perfection that we try to approximate. That's the goal. Everything I do, whether it's producing or signing an artist, always starts with the songs. When I'm listening, I'm looking for a balance that you can see in anything. Whether it's a great painting or a building or a sunset, there's just a natural human element to a great song that feels immediately satisfying. I like the song to create a mood. The immersive listening also helps him achieve a better understanding of the artist he's working with. Like I can talk to him about a little rapper in Atlanta, and then we can go talk about somebody from the 80s, and then we can go talk about Frank Ocean, and like we could jump, like he can, and he can stick with every conversation, every genre, like, like a music god, for real. And that personal connection is the foundation of the creative journey that Ruben begins with the artist. With confidence, trust, and understanding established, the artist can begin to express their true vision. Many people don't listen. If you listen carefully, people explain to you what it is that they need. I'll spend time with an artist and listen very carefully to what they tell me and get them to talk about their true goals, their highest, highest goals. We'll go back to the heart of why they started doing what they are doing in the first place. I spend time with the artist and kind of see where they're at and uh, imagine, I try to imagine what them at their best is and um, then try to set up whatever situations we can to allow that to happen. After helping them realize their innermost ambitions and desires, he then begins the process of shedding away the layers of self-doubt by minimalizing the distractions that often hinder true self-expression. The goal is to create a, a setting where an artist can be completely vulnerable and feel completely free to be themselves 100%. It would be easy for Ruben to simply end the process here, but for the artist, the journey is just beginning. After crossing the first threshold, the real work begins. The process is grueling and Ruben's pursuit of transcendence is a demanding expedition. So the idea of shifting that, um, reframing the experience to, to, not, to not just well, let's just get in it. Let's just do an album. But let's do whatever it takes for it to be the best album you've ever made. What would that sound like? How would that work? How much work would go into it? Are you willing to commit to that? Yeah. Um, it's because it's not easy. And some artists don't like it. And, and I've worked with some artists where it hasn't worked out, where they just are not willing to do the work. But those who reach the summit successfully return to this world with a shifted perception and a more keen understanding of their musical identity. And oftentimes, their work reflects this heightened awareness. At the end of the day, 
Ruben's method is leadership by example. He helps artists create platinum selling and Grammy winning albums because he helps create a more meditative state in others even if they don't practice meditation themselves. There is nothing better than someone really and truly being with and present with you in a dyadic kind of meditative state. When you're with someone who is paying attention with intention, who is grounded and aware, then you become more grounded and aware. Throughout nature, there is tension and release. Our planet breathes. If you listen closely, you can hear that very same tension and release within the great works of music. Rick Rubin's acute perception allows him to pierce the veil and hear this harmony within everything. He radiates an openness that instills confidence and understanding within the artists that he's working with. Compared to his fellow producers and hit makers, Rubin's persona may seem like a bizarre approach to producing records, but it is that exact offbeat spirit that has made him one of the most influential record producers of the last two decades. Over 20 years into his career, dude ain't changed, he got his own vibe. I mean, it's Rick, you gotta love him for that. What up squad, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can hit the subscribe button. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram by clicking the links below. Until next time, thanks for watching all Deaf Music.